Hey everybody, it's Leslie with the Plant Poodle. I'm back! Um, and of course, I'm late, 10 minutes late. I was having some issues with my um, technology because I haven't um, used it in a couple of months. Hi, Carol! Um, just want to thank everyone for their patience while I took the month of April and May off to um, take care of some family business and just too much was going on and I wasn't being able to focus very well so I just said let's take something off the table and so my lives were um, pushed back and um, I've missed being here I've missed I've done a little bit of creating while while I was off, but not a whole lot. Hi, Stacy. Um, I've gone to a couple of different Stampin' Up! Um, events, which was fun and kept me in the loop on, on, on all that, but um, I've missed seeing everybody, so it's nice to see you all here. I know summer's busy time for everybody, so um, let me get rid of my trimmer here. Um, if you're not here live, you can always watch me, uh, watch the replay, and um, I'm always, I always post the replay over on my YouTube channel, um, so you can always watch the replay over there, um, and I'm going to turn my camera around, hopefully, hopefully my camera is um, here. <laughs> I've got my, uh-oh, let's see. Guys, I'm going to have to look at my, my phone here and see what's going on. It's telling me something. Oh, trust this computer. Yeah, we'll trust it. <laughs> see, it's been so long my phone doesn't remember. I have an app on my phone that I can use it as, as a camera, um, but it's still not showing up. Why don't I unplug it and plug it back in? There we go. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> you can see my splat painter splattered desk there. Let's see. Let's do this and this. Nope. Don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm trying to figure out how to put myself in the corner so you can see my face. Let's see. That one's there. Oh, for heaven's sakes. You know, the software could have changed, too, um, how it does things since it's been so long it updates almost every time I get on here it updates whoops whoops no 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 no. now it wants me to install the new the new version so we're gonna skip it are y'all seeing that <laughs> now it won't go away gee many Christmas Are you all still there, Stacy and Carol? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know why this is on here. Here we go. Why don't I do that? There we go. Okay. Um, and now how do I get back? <laughs> how do I get back to the cameras? Here we go. There we go. Oh my gosh. I apologize. Here we go. I think I figured this out. There we go. You know, I never understand why um, things, um, software has to update all the time and change it on us. And I apologize for my messy desk. I usually have a piece of paper here so you don't have to see it. <laughs> um, I want to remind you of the last chance sale that's going on right now. Um, if you go to my blog, theplaidpoodle.com, you can print this out or look at it on there. Um, 
these are the products that are going away from the January through June mini, which is this one. Can you believe it? Um, and some of them are marked down really well, up to 50% off some of the items. Now, some of the items are uh, bundles that aren't necessarily going away, but um, the bundle price is going away. So if you go to my blog, I've got a button for you to look at this list. Um, or if you just go to leslie.stampinup.net, there's a a link for last chance products and you'll see all the images that are available um, and the discounted prices on some of those. Um, another thing that's going on right now is the um, Kits Collection buy one get one 50% off sale. If you go to leslie.stampinup.net and um, click on shop now and then click on kits you'll see all available kits kits are not put in the catalogs because they change they are updated and new ones are added all the time so right now during the month of June if you buy one you get one for half price so um, that's a pretty good deal if you want to try the, the kits out Okay, last week I sent out an email, and in the email it included this sketch, and uh, this is the card I created to show um, how I use the sketch. And I'm going to start doing this every Tuesday. I'm going to call it um, Tutorial Tuesday. So if you're on my mailing list, um, every Tuesday you'll get a, a new sketch. This was sketch number one. I've done sketches in the past, but um, I didn't want to go back and see how many I've done, so we're just going to start all over from the beginning. Um, and this is the card that I created using this sketch, but um, this is also on my blog, thepladpoodle.com. If you kind of scroll down, you'll find the post that would include this sketch. So if you would like to um, download and print that or just look at it. Um, sometimes sketches are a real good um, jumping off point when you're um, not sure what you're going to do or where to start. So I thought that would be kind of a fun thing to do together. And if you make a card using the sketch, please share it on here on my Facebook page. I would love to see it and I'm sure everyone else would love to see what you came up with. If you can find the um, post that I'll pin it to the top that uh, talks about the sketch um, it would be nice if you could put it under that post but I understand sometimes it's hard to find things so I don't care where you put it if you can't find that post but this is the card I came up with I used the um, little ladybug bundle and um, I replaced instead of the starburst I used leaves behind my little round ladybugs so that is that card, and then I thought I would make another card today using the sketch, just to kind of give you an idea of the versatility when you use sketches. It's You don't have to do it just, just so. You can just kind of, um, like I said, use it as, as your starting off point and your inspiration. So this is the little card that I made. Isn't that cute? with the new Sweet Songbirds bundle that's in the new annual catalog. Um, it's The bundle includes the punch and the um, stamp set. So if you don't have an annual catalog, you can view it on my blog. There's a catalog tab um, that you can view the PDF version. Or um, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, um, just message me or comment in the comments and I will get with you and get a catalog out to you. I have boxes and boxes of them, so I would be happy to send one out to you. Um, for this card, I'm using, the per the sketch, <laughs> I followed the measurements um, precisely, but that's not necessary. I used a half a sheet of eight and a half by 11 inch paper. I used a four and a fourth by 11. I scored it at five and a half, and there you go, folds in half, and, and so it's a, I don't know what you would call that type of card. It's just a top lifting card, or you could do it like this. I did it like this. Okay, then the first layer 
and on my sketch you'll see um, I give the measurements for my layers. This first layer is one of our new in colors. It's the Starry Sky, which I love all the new in colors. You know, sometimes you like one or two or one. <laughs> this year, I love all the new in colors. Okay, this measures four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. I kind of cut it down. Um, to give it a real nice frame around it. And then the designer series paper I'm using, I love this paper. I got this bundle too. I think I got the whole suite of this. This is the um, Butterfly Kisses paper. It uses a lot of the new in colors. It's very bright, very cheery. Just what I, I like. I like the bright colors. And I believe you get... 48 sheets front and back of six by six. It's really pretty. So I chose a print from that paper and it is cut at four and three quarters by three and a half. And pay attention to your um, the design orientation when you cut it. You want the four and three quarters to go this way. Otherwise it probably would have been okay on this print. They just would have been sideways. I, I'm trying to pretend these are little flower petals, but they could be anything. And that was pretty, too. I almost used that side. <laughs> but I thought it would distract from my bird. My little bird. Okay. Now, per the sketch, I wanted to use something that had a little... Um, spiky spike circle. So how I did that, I created a sun using the hexagons from the um, doo -doo -doo, beautiful shapes dies. I haven't done a storyboard for these yet, but there's some really cute little shapes and I used the two smallest to create two frames and I'll show you how I did that. Here's a piece of Daffodil Delight and these sit right in side each other. They layer really nicely. Carol, you're getting the this bundle tomorrow, the birds. What is it called? <laughs> what did I call it? <laughs> Sweet songbirds. Okay, and then I also used the stitch circle just because I had these and I love them. They Stampin' Up! has brought back our stitch circles and stitch squares this in this new catalog with some extra tags here. So I used this circle, I believe. No, I did not. I used this circle. There we go. And I cut that all out of the... Um, these are called stylish shape styles, and this will be on my blog later too. All the, all the um, supplies. If you're interested in what I'm using, but I created a little a little sun using these. Oops! I'm gonna cut this out. Let's move all this out of the way. I'm gonna use my little mini. Stamp and cut and emboss. And it makes this cute little frame when you layer them. Otherwise, it would make a solid hexagon. And then we've got these little hexagons that I have a plan for. Um, maybe I'll uh, include that in a post later on this week. And then we have our stitch circle. But we need two of those um, hexagon frames to make our sun rays. I just wanted to cut these out and I didn't have time to do it before we went on. You know, I was 10 minutes late anyway. 
par for the course. <laughs> Um, and so then I just layered these. Let me turn this upside down so you can kind of see how I did it. Like that. And adhered them together. And then I adhered the little stitch circle right on top. So it looks like a little sun. And I went ahead and did that earlier. So I'll show you. When you adhere them all together. My my uh, camera just does blurry sometimes, but you can see the little um, little sun rays sticking out of there. Okay, so here is our card base, and I'm going to just adhere my um, sun straight directly on the front. But first, I'm going to um, stamp my sentiment, and I took that from the... Um, stamp set a little bird told me a little wherever it is a little bird told me <laughs> and I'm doing it on Calypso coral paper I pulled the color out of the um, designer series paper here and I'm gonna use the starry night um, ink for my sentiment Tag is a little, little hairy. Okay. This is a photopolymer stamp set, so I, I'm going to use my um, stamp and pierce mat just to give it a little cushion. I've got some really, I'm going to just leave that open because we're going to use it for a little bird in a minute. I've got some really juicy ink, that brand new ink pad. Love it. I'm just going to flag the end here. As I do. I thought about using one of the... Um, the little tag dies from the um, stylish shapes dies, but I just didn't want them that wide. I wanted a kind of a skinnier one. So, um, so I'm going to determine where I want that. I want it right there. So I am going to put a little adhesive on it. Carol, my mom is doing great. Thank you for asking. She is all moved. That was one of the reasons I took the couple months off. Um, was just packing her up, you know, kind of downsizing her and um, getting her moved. And um, I'm going to use a little liquid glue on this. But she has moved into a senior living community real close by here, about 10 minutes away. So I see her regularly in a um, very nice apartment. She's, she's making friends there and um, doing well, doing well. Okay, now I'm going to do my little bird. And I think I'm just going to take this wrap of basic white and I'm using the larger bird image from the um, stamp set Look at that solid image when it's so nice when you have a nice inked up <laughs> ink pad and while we're at it, I'm going to stamp the little um, branch from the stamp set. We're going to have to fussy cut that out. I use soft suede for that. Okay, so we have a punch for our little bird. Oh, I need to do her little wing. 
There's several wings on the stamp set. There's a smaller wing, a larger wing, and then this tiny little wing, and I use this tiny little wing. A favorite stamp set in the new catalog. Hmm. I'm trying to think what I have ordered. I I like those butterflies. I forget what they're called. Um I've played around with those a little bit. So I ordered those. Um, and then I just got the Sweet Songbird. So today's the first day I've really gotten to um, do anything with it, but it's so adorable. How about yourself, Carol? What was your favorite? This is unfair to um, those who do not are not Stampin' Up! demonstrators. I should have paid better attention to how I put the stamp on the, um, the, um, I'm going to have to make a handle for it. But we were able to preview the uh, holiday catalog. In fact, we were able to order out of it. And, um, I have a big order coming from that. I am in love with the new holiday catalog, which will go live for customers in August. So, um, I think, right? Y'all, I put my handle on the wrong end of my bird. <laughs> Let's try it this way. Carol likes the songbirds and the teacups. The teacups are very, very popular. They are adorable, and I have seen some things. What in the heck is going on? Everybody knows I haven't been in my craft room for a while. My grandchildren were here for a couple weeks because while school was getting out, they they moved. They left yesterday for their new adventure six hours away from me, <laughs> which I'm a little bitter about, but I'm excited, excited for them. Um, so they were staying with us, which was another reason I took took the time off because I knew the grandkids would be here, and one of them sleeps in the trundle bed here in my my uh, craft room so all right I punched that out and then it disappeared where did it go I'm sorry they're moving away too my daughter we we have discovered or she's been on it quite a while does anybody do Marco Polo it's an app on your phone and you can just whenever you think of something you want to say you just kind of film yourself saying it and having a conversation and then they'll reply back and I'm just learning it. I don't know if you can have live conversations on it, but she sent me one this morning showing me her new bedroom and her new bedroom furniture. My daughter looks so pretty. She's got this beautiful window in her master bedroom that I am envious over. I love lots of sunlight and lots of light. So, y'all, where did my bird... It flew away. We'll try it again. Gee, many Christmas. So... We are going to go visit them over the 4th and see their new home and see if Grandma approves of everything. <laughs> Keep an eye out for that wing. There we go. <laughs> Don't want it flying away. Okay, I'm going to take a little mini dimensional. Oh, before I do that, I'm going to 
put, I need my memento. Sorry about that. You can tell it's been a while since I've done this. Put the little bird's eyes on there with some black ink. And then I'm going to punch her little um, beak out of some scrap. Isn't that cute? Grab a um, tweezer. that cute so cute okay so I put a little um, mini dimensional on this wing and I'm going to put her little wing on there there we go and get rid of all of this Alrighty, so here's my sample. I'm going to go ahead and glue the branch that we fussy cut out. I'll go ahead and use some liquid glue. Be easier. I was going to stick the little birdie right on the front front of the card, but I thought it might look weird. I guess it would look like she was flying. <laughs> but I wanted her to be um, still, so I'm going to scooch this down if I can a little bit. There we go. All right, I'm going to pop her up with just some regular dimensionals. going to just put her right there so she's there's the sun behind her and then on the inside I stamped with the um, starry night ink it's your special day I'm gonna try and do this straight Pretty good. <laughs> and then I wanted to add some musical notes. There's this adorable little um, musical note image on the stamp set. So I wanted to add those and I pulled the Calypso Coral out of the paper. And y'all, I have lost my new, you know, Stampin' Up! redid their ink pads several years ago now. I have lost my Calypso Coral. I've left it somewhere or it is in the bottom of something somewhere. And as soon as I buy a new one, you know I'm going to find it. But I still save these um, older pads because I use them for my... Um, when I have classes and I need more than one pad of a color. So I had my old style ink pad. Thank goodness. All right. That is the card, ladies and gents. Maybe. <laughs> Apologize for my messy work surface. I usually put something down. Um, and that is using the sketch that I shared last Tuesday. And here is the original card that I had made using that sketch. Instead of the sunburst, I used two ladybugs, or, and I used their um, the leaves kind of to act as the sunburst. 
Um, but this card, I used a, an actual sunburst. <laughs> and then I replaced this one with the bird on the thing. So that's how sketches can help you kind of get get um, get going on a on a project. Um, so if you're on my mailing list, look for um, the sketch tomorrow's Tuesday tutorial email. We'll have the um, have sketch number two on there. I'm working on that this afternoon. And um, if you do make a card using any of the sketches, please share it here on my Facebook page or on Instagram. Hashtag I better not say it, but I think it's Plaid Poodle Sketches. <laughs> so then we could see it on um, Instagram. Um, you guys have a nice afternoon. Thanks so much for joining me. I am going to be on Coffee and a Card Wednesday at 10 a.m. I think I'm going to try that again. Try doing mornings instead of afternoons on Wednesdays. We'll see how it goes. You know I'm not a morning person, but we'll see how it goes. So we'll see you soon. Thank you for um, putting up with my um, awkwardness today. I'm going to get back in the swing of it and we'll, we'll do better next time. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.